Today I'm going to build a self-driving train system complete with platform screen doors, multiple trains, and a control system that makes sure everything runs smoothly. This is the greatest piece of engineering you're ever going to see. Alright, so to start things off, we're going to need to build the station. Get a flooring down here, I think I'll make it out of- This looks like a cool, very nice material, and I'm going to have warning signs near the platform. The train will line up with doors on the station to prevent uh, people from falling onto the track. Chip of warning, and we'll paint that to yellow. Alright. Alright, I'll make a gap of seven blocks. Good. And the whole thing was connected, kind of. Go this way. We have a nice little train station here. Be closed, usually. I, I kind of hate this uh, metal that I'm using for it. I might just switch to plastic. And that goes that, and it opens them. The train needs to be able to stop and like line up its doors exactly with this. Like you could walk between cars, it's gonna be like two cars. I want the train to have two different modes. One where it goes full speed, and then one where it like slows down before stopping. It's gonna be a plastic floor because you know, those are stable. The wheel is gonna be one of these. Since it's two different spinning modes, the pipe is spinning, and then so is like the wheel here. Just one of these. The faster speed and the slower speed. That's faster. And then we're gonna have like an exact magnet or something to like line it up. And they attract each other because this one's gonna be... The sensor is gonna be on the car right here. And it's gonna look down this and it's gonna activate it. There's gonna be a sensor right here that's gonna see the car itself. So it's gonna see the car and it's gonna see the thing. And it's gonna be like, stop. Alright. See the red and activate these. Uh oh, we're speeding. Slower, faster. This is gonna bring the magnet uh, like that, so it's gonna activate. Okay, that's actually super narrow still. I, um, what the heck? How about now? Alright, good. That's what I thought. Lined up. Good. I can make this the front of the train, I guess. And then I'll do the back after. So this will activate these, technically. Then it'll... No, but it'll... It's the, this still has to be a... Which will then go there. And how long... This is how long it's gonna be stopped at the station for, I guess. 15 seconds at the station. And then it's gonna continue on. Why does it not... That's not how physics works. Perfect. This would trigger a stopping there. But I think the doors only should open once uh, a sensor sees the train lined up with it properly. There, there has to be uh, multiple different um, criteria here. So this has to be on, right? Yeah, this has to see the cyan. It has to be uh, three if this is on and this is on. Do a timer of like one second. These doors need to uh, be controlled by a logic gate. Goes to here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wait, do, do these magnets even like care? 
I feel like they're not strong enough. What I need to do is make the magnets stronger using the um, smart engine. Or just I mean the regular engine. So now the magnets should be strong enough to actually do their alignment. Yeah, that's lined up now. I think that was the work of the magnets. It's very subtle. This is door sensor. This make door go open. Yay! Yep, good. So now as for the engine, the engine speed. That's gonna it's gonna come in as uh, slow. I think it should read the wall. So it could go really fast, then it could transition to just yellow. I could just have them be like side by side, like right here. Like that. It's gonna be like that. And it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be like that. And it just goes up one when needed. And then it would it would be like slow for a little and then it would take off. This has to be here. To stop it, it has to go down. Oh yeah. Did that line up well? Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> Why does it stop so soon? It needs to be rotate. Okay, I could rotate it if it's like on the same plane. Like I could rotate it if it's like on a single axis here, just like a little bit, like 15 degrees. Oh, that's lined up pretty nice. Yeah, that's good. And we could probably have like block sections and stuff to uh, stop the train if it... um. If there's, obviously, if it's occupied up ahead. Whoa, look at that. Then it leaves. How do I make a thing where it's like open? I might just use the seat block and make like the chairs actually look nice. I wonder what I can make the seat out of. I don't want to just do plastic again. There needs to be another material except plastic in here. Where it's like that, but make it like light colored. Yeah, that's two. It just misses it. Nice. So how will these be mated? Like that, but then... Like it could be like that. And this would just be here. Now we just have to fill up these gaps somehow, without taking away from the motion. To where it does just move inwards. Yeah. It can be walked across. It finally decided to, I guess. How does that look? Yeah, that works, but... Is that enough of a turn radius? Alright, I topped it off. There we go. Um, how do I get out? Please let me out. Now that the train is complete, I'm gonna have to extend the station just a little bit. Actually, no, they can't work individually because the front of the train is what I used to see. So, this will, um... Is this the one that checks for the door yet? Yeah. This cannot think freely anymore. And I get on. And it closes, and we leave. 
the promise that I made at the start of the video of uh, multiple trains, th that means two. Two at most. If, if the game can even handle that. I don't know. You'll be here. At the corners. Cool. Alright, let's make like the train parking area. And this is where you spawn the train. That opens the doors, good. So they can manually open the doors. Dispatch is that. Alright, so because the game was annoying, I had to make this really awkward, but I mean it works contraption where it's like this track that just like pivots off this hinge right here and swings the entire train over here at like 12 FPS. So let me show you. A million different sensors and stuff. Drives onto this track, pauses there, and then begins this slow swing so like the wheels don't turn anymore. Oh. This worked just yes- okay. Well, there it goes. That's awesome. And then it goes back to reset. Um, we could start assembling the track because we have the maintenance bay. I have a straight track saved right over here. Okay, there we go. Look, we got a track extension. That's crazy. But these are like separate pieces. So like, I could not just like do that. Over here is where we're gonna put our turn. I believe this is correct. Wonderful. Good. Oh, there's grass poking out, I forgot. It gives it a bit of a realistic rundown feel, you know? Right here. That's exactly the right amount of space. I'll just do the thing to connect the thing. And this will just, uh, this will just be that way. There it is. Incredible work. I think we're ready to send our first train around. It has arrived at the station. Time to go for a ride. Uh-oh, we're stuck. Let's let's do the manual override here. Oh, this door in particular just does not want to work, but that's fine. And here we are back at this front. Very nice metro system connecting nothing to nowhere. Okay, we could try we could try and put multiple trains on it. Good. We have two trains officially running on the track. This one's entering that one. Oh no, they're gonna turn at the same time. The one on the right seems to have handled it. So did the one on the left. Let's go, we have a working train system that drives itself. The, the operations are probably incredible. Perfect. That's this is a different train from the one that was there before. No, that's definitely stuck. Oh, he's just he's ramming into the wall. Thank <laughs> you. 